Hi. Let's try to understand what is normal effect to exchange rate and real effect to exchange rate. I guess you might have come across these terms normal exchange rate and real exchange rate. So what does normal exchange refers to? The value of a currency expressed in terms of other currency. This means the number of units of Indian currency we are willing to forego in return for one unit of foreign currency. Here in this case, the American dollar. So how much dollar costs in India? In the current market value is what I call a normal exchange rate. Real exchange rate is nominal adjusted to inflation. So whenever you come across these terms called nominal and real, just keep that in mind. Real variable is always nominal variable adjusted to inflation. So rather, in this case, you could simply express the same as the basket of goods of India, the number of baskets that you are willing to for, forego in return for one similar basket of uh, American goods is what I could express as a real exchange rate. So here in this case, I am just simply referring some random number x. It could be 1, it could be 2, it could be 3. So if we people are willing to forego more of our baskets or more goods in return for one unit of Indian go okay, American good, then people of America would be happy consuming more Indian goods. And that is something we happen to discuss in, okay, when we discuss about normal exchange rate and real exchange rate. But in this case, we are trying to understand what is normal effective exchange rate. So if you have noticed that, though we people keep on frequently expressing everything, let's say GDP, export bill, import bill in terms of dollars. Dollar being the international reserve asset. And that's a pretty much reason. Many times media keeps on reporting dollar has rupee depreciated, rupee appreciated, but they convey the fact rupee has appreciated, depreciated against the dollar. That's something you always make it sure. You cannot outright end up saying rupee has become weak or stronger. The reason is simple. If rupee gains purchasing power against potato, doesn't mean that it gains purchasing power against gold or tomato. That's it. The same logic. So if rupee is experiencing fall in value, rupee is experiencing fall in value or rupee is depreciating against dollar, it doesn't necessarily mean rupee is also depreciating against pound or euro. Pound or euro. That's it. And that's the reason, I don't know whether okay, you people might have come across some two months, three months back, two to three months back, the finance minister of India happens to pass on this statement. Rupee is depreciating against dollar, but I don't accept my rupees uh, becoming weak. The reason is, if you notice in the last one year, the rupee depreciated against dollar around 10 to 11 percent, but it happens to relatively appreciate against certain other hard currencies like pound sterling and euro, n and look at n. So that's the very basic reason. What I want to convey is when India interacts with the rest of the world, the interaction is not denominated or the vehicle currency is not only in the form of dollar. We interact with the rest of the world in terms of a basket of currencies. So when we interact with Americans, maybe we would be using dollar as a vehicle currency. When we interact with Europeans, the vehicle currency could be euro, isn't it? And that's what's the basic logic behind understanding near. So unlike the way expressed, the number of rupees you require to buy a dollar, when it comes to near, just keep this in mind, it is an index number. Both near and rear are index numbers. So I hope you have an idea with respect to an index number like wholesale price index or a consumer price index. So before going ahead with NIR, let me just brush up what exactly is the reason I referred wholesale price index and consumer price index. Let me take any index number. Imagine this index number in a particular month is 100 and sometime later if the index number goes up to 120 and how would you interpret this? So in a certain month, let's say the base year, the number happens to be 100 and later in a certain month it happens to go up to 120. So how would you interpret it? The simplest way of interpreting is the basket of goods that you could buy it for 100 rupees now costing you 120 rupees. Whatever the basket that you could buy it for 100 bucks now it is costing you 120. Does mean there is a 20 rupees rise upon 100. Am I right? So you could say there is a 20% rate of inflation. So the basket of goods the basket of goods in terms of my rupee has experienced a rise in value and that's what the index number is conveying and to the okay let's extend the same logic and how would you define near it's an index number of course 
but how do you express it it's a weighted average it's a weighted average of a basket of currencies of a basket of a currencies that you are willing to forego in return for my currency or my domestic currency that's it so this index number conveys the fact what would be the size of the basket that the foreigners need to forego in return for one unit of my currency or simply for my rupee that's it so if the size of the basket or the number of units of foreign currencies that they need to forego to buy my rupee in such case i would say my near is a or normal effect exchange rate or simply the index number is a increasing so does mean when the index number or the near is increasing it simply conveys the fact the number of units of foreign currencies in fact when i say the number of units of foreign currency i'm just referring to the weighted average of the basket of currencies so the size of this basket is experiencing a rise and i am expecting more and more in return for one unit of my currency that's what a rise in near indicate so when the index number is increasing does mean my rupee against a basket of currencies against a basket of currencies is increasing so in such case i could end up saying rupee is becoming relatively stronger against a certain basket of currencies and this basket again at the end of the day i just want to convey the fact it is a weighted average and i guess you have a fair understanding of what is a weighted average in fact weighted average is one of the simplest index number though we have very different types of computing index number but a weighted average is a very simple index number so that's what near happens to convey so the same near adjust to inflation adjust to inflation is what we happen to call as a real effective exchange rate so the way we happen to done this similar logic that we applied for normal exchange rate and real exchange rate could also be applied here but just remember the fact both near and rear are index numbers so when the index number is going high does mean the indian currency expressed in the terms of foreign currencies is experiencing a rise in value so some of you might still have a confusion that when the wholesale price index is increasing rupee is losing purchasing power the reason because we are trying to figure out what is the size of the basket that you are getting for a, a certain amount of rupees but here in this case we are trying to figure out how much is the basket of foreign currencies that you need to forego in return for my currency and this index number is simply tracking this size of the basket so if this size of basket is experiencing a rise does mean the index number keeps on rising it does mean that i am expecting more and more of foreign units of currencies hence forth my rupee is said to appreciate against a basket of currencies so rise in near is conveying the fact that rupee is becoming stronger fall in near does mean rupee is becoming weaker but whenever you use the term called appreciation depreciation generally we need to convey the fact whether it is against a basket of currencies or against a particular currency so just because rupee experiences fall in value against the dollar it doesn't mean that rupee has become weaker because it's not only in the form of a dollar we interact with rest of the world isn't it so that's where the near comes into picture so as of now in, in india we do measure the near and rear against a basket of i mean a six basket currencies and a 40 basket currencies 40 basket currencies so the rbi happened to compute the index number against or with respect to six basket currencies and also 40 basket currencies that's it so the same logic is what you can apply even for rear because rear is nominal adjusted to inflation and whenever the rear is experiencing a rise it does mean my export competitiveness my export competitiveness is reducing the reason because the basket of goods that i am expecting from the foreigners in return for my basket is a experience rise that's mean i am expecting more hence forth people prefer consuming less and less of indian goods and that's the reason whenever the index number that is rear increases it conveys that export competitiveness is reducing and it's the other way around if rear decreases it does mean my goods and services are becoming cheaper expressed in terms of a weighted average of basket of goods of other countries that's what's the rear is all about got it that's it.